USB, the standard cable interface between PCs and laptops and a whole multitude of peripherals and portable devices is fantastic for fast, easy transfer of both data and power. But great as it is, USB is significantly limited in its transmission distance. Join the How To AV team as we see how USB measures up and how to stretch signal transmission distances a whole lot further. USB, or Universal Serial Bus, the cable and connectivity standard which we rely on so frequently for both data and power transmission, just keeps getting better and better as we step into the realms of the latest version 3.1 with its huge new bandwidth and the new USB Type-C connector. Universal, super small and reversible. However, what isn't improving and is the main limitation of USB is the transmission distance. Did you know that USB version 2 is limited to just 5 metres of cable transmission distance and USB versions 3 and 3.1 to an even more disappointing 3 to 4 metres? So when you're looking to connect USB devices over longer distances, usually when either one or both of the devices are fixed position rather than mobile, such as printers or interactive devices, then we need to consider the options available to extend the transmission distance of a USB cable. First and most simple recommendation is to ensure you're using high-grade USB cables as this is going to ensure you're getting the greatest distance and performance from your connection. One of the most common mistakes made when attempting to extend USB transmission distances is to connect two or more passive USB cables together to go beyond the recommended 3 or 5 meter limits. That's simply not going to work. However, there are active USB extender cables available, sometimes also referred to as repeater cables, which will regenerate the USB signal, allowing for a passive and active USB cable to be connected together. Remember though, that most active repeater USB cables are bus powered, i.e. they take their power from the host device's USB interface. Therefore, this option should only really be applied for data transmission as opposed to peripheral device charging. The next option to increase your USB signal transmission distance is to use a USB hub. Similar to an active repeater cable, a hub regenerates the signal at the end of a USB cable which can then be sent again to another USB cable. So for instance, a USB 2.0 signal could be connected to a 5 meter cable connected to a hub which itself is then connected to another 5 meter USB cable to increase your signal distance to 10 meters. And in fact, using self-powered hubs, you can daisy chain a number of these together to a maximum of five hubs. So by connecting your host device at one end and your peripheral device at the other, up to six five meter USB 2.0 cables can be connected using five powered hubs to achieve a maximum of 30 meters. Remember, however, that repeater hubs need power, and so the idea of running a signal via five hubs, all connected to their own power source, isn't really a truly viable option. Active hubs can also be used to increase USB versions 3 and 3.1, of course, though the limit of using 3 meter cables in between still applies. So there's some options for increasing USB transmission by a few meters beyond the limitations of a standard cable. But what if you need to transmit even further? Do we have any suggestions? Well, how about a solution to send USB over 100 meters? There are a number of extender kits available on the market which will allow USB signals to be transmitted over Ethernet cable to distances of up to 100 meters. This extender kit example we have here comprises of a transmitter unit which is connected to the host device such as a PC and a receiver unit which in this case can be connected to up to four peripheral USB devices. The USB extender transmitter and receiver are connected to one another via standard category 5E, 6 or 7 Ethernet cable to provide a greatly increased two-way transmission of USB 2.0 signals. And I'm sure it won't be long until USB 3.1 extender kits also land on the market. So there are a number of options available to break out of the limits of USB cable distances. 
click on the screen now to find out more and leave us your thoughts and further questions in the comments section below. There's plenty more advice from the AV world available on our YouTube channel, so please click the subscribe button for all of the latest. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join us again here soon at howtoav.tv. Bye for now.